Warning, this video contains opinions. What is up y'all, welcome to uh, the Kingdom Rush Heroes tier list. Uh, I don't know why this idea like popped into my head, I was just playing Kingdom Rush a lot lately for some reason. And I decided, you know, let's rank the fucking heroes, why not, that this could be a cool video. So, I have played all of the Kingdom Rush games except for Vengeance, which I will play and probably make a tier list of these heroes later. But right now I have played Origins, I have played Frontiers, and I have played the original Kingdom Rush, obviously. Like, I played them ages ago. Like, I actually played Origins, like, you know, what was, like... Two years ago, so not that long ago, but the original and Frontiers, damn, that was like the hot shit when I was seven or something. I remember this was one of the first games I ever played, like, I think my cousin showed me how to play games on the internet and I was like, oh, this looks cool, hey, this is one of the best freaking games ever made. <laughs> so we're gonna rank the heroes, whatever. Uh, so we're gonna like do them in order, right? Because they're like all over the freaking place. They're not organized at all. So I guess I'm just gonna pick out the ones that are from the original Kingdom Rush first, and we're just gonna put them in the tiers from F to S S S S S S S S S S S S S S, and you know, just have a good time. So first up is um. What's her name? Aliria Swiftwind or something like that. So yeah, this hero is actually pretty good. You know, um, it is one of the most basic heroes ever. Like, she literally just shoots from a distance. That That's it. She has this cool multi-shot ability, which I like because it has, like, literally no cooldown. She, like, does it all the time. And then he, she has this one little minion, which is, I mean, the minions, it's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, it's always cool to have like a little minion. So this hero is gonna go in the in the B tier because it's a it's a really cool like ranged hero. You know what I mean? It's um it's definitely a good ranged hero. Even though ranged heroes are not really my cup of tea, because if, if enemies get to them, you gotta keep moving them back and back and back, and it's kind of annoying. So next hero from Kingdom Rush One is this dude. Ball in first layer. So he sucks so much ass. I hate this guy. So for, for one, he fires like once every century. That's one thing. And he doesn't even do that much damage. Uh, second of all, his mines are the biggest piece of trash ever made. Literally, his mines... No one ever walks into his mines. And when they do, it does like as much damage as my freaking asshole. He could as well... Might as well be farting on them. So, um, and then his slowdown bomb is also, like, trash. It, like, lasts half a second and it really just slows the enemies down. It's not that useful. So, I, I guess I'm just gonna put him in the F tier. <laughs> I don't know, I hate this guy. If you, if you have a different opinion than me, feel free to disagree. But don't dislike the video or do whatever the hell. D don't be a, an idiot, is what I'm saying. Just don't be an idiot over me having a different opinion than you. Mm, but yeah, I hate this guy. He's, he's useless. I, he's, he's a piece of trash. Uh, next hero from one is... Um, this dude, Gerald Lightseeker. So yeah, this guy is a really good tanker. He's like... Like, he's one of the best tankers in the game, honestly. He can tank... Um... You can think like really strong enemies and sometimes even bosses. Like you know, kinda of like like easier bosses like Juggernaut or uh, or the, the 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 big guy from from Ruins of Akaroth, you know what I mean? I know it's called I don't know what it's called, but yeah. Tankers aren't actually like my mm, like they're not my uh preference when it comes to heroes. I prefer when heroes can just freaking crush the freaking battlefield when they can just annihilate everybody that's that's <laughs> that's how i like my heroes however if you're looking for a tanker then this guy is is amazing this guy is a freaking beast when it comes to tanking he can block attacks he can upgrade knights he has so much armor and i think decent damage so i'm gonna put him in the 
a B or C tier? Let's... Um, I'm gonna put him the C tier, actually. Because, I mean, like, F is, like, a total failure. D is, like, pretty bad. C is, like, average. <laughs> B... B is good. A is very good. S is um, extremely good. And S, 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 S is just my personal favorite hero. You know? So these are basically just the same tier. But these are the ones that I love the most. It's reserved for free heroes only. So, um, who's next from... Oh yeah, this guy, Hacksaw. So Hacksaw is a tanker again. And he's a lot better than Gerald, in my opinion. Hacksaw is, is a really good hero. He has way better melee damage. He has a very like similar health. I don't know. I don't think... Um, I mean, he has higher health, actually. I didn't check, like, every single thing. But yeah, they're very similar when it comes to tank, ab tank ability. Uh, but Hexa actually has um, better offensive capabilities. So he can not only tank really well, but he can also kind of get, um, kind of do some damage, you know? So, um, uh, what's, what's, his, uh, what's it called? The freaking, like, the little saw blade that he fires out, you know? That thing is trash, not gonna lie. That thing does literally zero damage. However, his other ability, the drill, is is amazing. <laughs> it's, it's one of the best abilities ever. Like, you can literally just, when there's a, when there's a big enemy coming through, just put Hacksaw down and you just freaking, <clears throat> enemy's gone. So yeah, I'm gonna put him in the B tier for that. He's, he's yeah, that, that, that ability just is, is really, really good. So the next hero is... Ignis and this guy I don't I honestly don't freaking know what to say about him because on the one hand uh, I kind of use him a lot but now that I look at look back at him he's he's not very good you know what I'm saying he's like he's on he's obviously a hero that's meant to be used for groups of enemies but he's so annoying because that that ability that he has when he like turns into a fireball and like flings himself around the battle is the most annoying thing ever made in the history of video games. Seriously, when I'm trying to focus him on, on like some guy that's almost at the exit and then there's like a, another guy walking by, he just like flings himself to that guy, kills him in one hit, then flings himself back to that guy, but that guy's already gone. There's freaking... <sighs> But his stats are pretty good, he's really fast, he has pretty good damage, and his other ability when he, like, flies, fi like, this uh, wave of fire around himself is actually pretty good. But overall, I'm gonna put him in that D tier, because he's extremely annoying to use for me personally. You know. Next up is the king himself. Now, King Danus... Uh, oh, wait, I missed this guy. Oops. Sorry. So <laughs> Sorry, I missed this guy. Uh, so yeah, this guy, this viking dude, whatever his name was, is good. Is a good tanker. Another, yeah, another tanker, I know. But we'll, we'll get to the damages later, I didn't organize this list. So, this dude is honestly uh, a really good tanker. He has, um, he can summon these minions, which, uh, which are also really tanky. They are trash of damage, but... When it comes to tanking, they're very good. And he has Burf Worm, where, where he becomes completely uh, invulnerable. Which is really nice. Mm, I don't really know where to put him. Because, one, on the one hand, yeah, his tanking ability is extremely well. Is it, yeah, extremely well, yeah. He's extremely good, and I like him for that. But, the, but his damage is actually kind of trash. Not gonna lie about that. So I guess I'm just gonna put him in C because it's like he's like alright when when the summon threw up. Oh my god. I missed another hero. What the hell is my life even? Why am I missing all these heroes? Am I stupid or something? So yeah, this lady, this winter winter lady, I don't remember the names. Uh she's like she's alright. I will She's a pretty good ranged hero. She she does good damage. And she also has this cool ability where she, like, rains down these icy spikes. Yeah, that's really good. And she can also slow down, but slow down is, like, one of the most meh abilities ever made for heroes. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna go put her in the... Uh, I don't really know. B or C? I should probably B, because she's actually better than these two. 
because she can do some damage, you know, and she has ranged attacks, which is also pretty nice. And yeah, I, I, I like her. That's she's a cool hero. Um, mm, so uh, who's next? Did I not miss anyone again? No. So now we get to the king. Finally, the king is amazing. The king is one of the best ranged heroes like ever made, in my opinion. Uh, he he does really cool like um, damage because he has a really decent rate of fire com com yeah, combined with the damage he does. He's a very good ranged hero, um, and also he has this awesome like catapult attack that he uses pretty frequently, and he can also buff towers. Like how could you not love this guy? And he's the king, so first A tier. This guy is this guy is really good. So, next up we have um, this guy, Magnus Spellbane. So, this guy is also one of um, the better ranged heroes. He does pretty good damage. Um, and he can also summon his clones, which can attack as well. So, uh, if he's like at a high level, he can summon like four of them. And then they all just fire at the, at the enemies and it's really good. And he also has an amazing like meteor rain ability well not amazing but it's very it's very useful you know it's not like amazing but it's useful so i guess i'm gonna put him in the a tier you know right there with king danus next up was this hammer guy so he i have i've actually used him a lot when i was playing the free version of kingdom rush now i have this team one uh so i have all the heroes but this guy i used for a while so i had so I have some experience with him, and I gotta say, I actually really like him. He does really good area damage, and he can stun. Plus, he's he's pretty decent at tanking. Not like amazing, but he's pretty decent. And but he he does like good damage, you know. So he's a pretty decent hero overall. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna put him in B, because I mean, I don't know he's a he's a decent hero, you know. I I actually really like using him. Next up, who is the next hero? I don't want to like miss anyone. Oni. Oni goes into SSSSS. This is one of this is like my probably my favorite hero ever in the game, in all games actually. Uh, he's he's just amazing. Like there's literally nothing I can complain about. He can take on really strong enemies because he has high health and high armor. He has amazing damage and he has awesome abilities. Like he can go into a crowd of enemies. And again, single enemies as well. He's the he's the most epic hero you can get. Seriously, I don't know. I know some people will pro are probably just like typing out. Only sucks. She can't even fucking. I I hate him. Uh, but yeah, you can do that. Just go ahead. You can you can type that you hate Oni, but please don't hate on me on. For me. Please don't hate on me for that. I just I think he's awesome. He's the best hero ever freaking made. I love using him. Let's move on to who is the next. Uh, four. Four is also really good. Four is also one of the heroes that I've used for quite a while. So, um, like, I actually alternated between using him and Oni before I decided that Oni is the better one. But four, man, four is really good. He has really good health. He has armor as well, and he can basically. He's actually really similar to Oni in a lot of things. He, he has good damage and good health. He has an area attack and he has a single target attack, which also stuns. However, I do prefer Oni because he just... Like, I think it's mainly because of his death strike attack that does so much more damage than Force uh, Hammer Throw. And that's why I put him, like, an SSSS. But you four are going to a normal S, because, yeah. He's an amazing hero. O overall, it's just that Oni is... Oni is better. So, that seems to be all the heroes from Kingdom Rush 1. Unless I'm so... Unless I'm a stupid dumbass and missed someone. Let's gonna look around... Um, no, I think that's all of them. So, let's move on to the Frontiers heroes then. Alright, so now we're gonna rank the Frontiers heroes. First up is Alric, or Arlik, whatever his name is. He is honestly one of the best three heroes in the game. Like, like, for sure. 
he has he has really good health he's really tanky and you can also deal like a lot of damage actually because he can he has spiky armor which like returns damage to the to the source and he also has this like awesome attack where he like slices up a bunch of times so yeah he's literally one of the best free heroes there is he also summons minions and summoning minions is always cool so he's he's literally gonna go into s and he's a free hero like god damn it frontier actually has really good heroes so next up is ashbite instant s spoiler all of the dragons are gonna be s because because the dragons that's because they can't block uh ironhide just decided to make them as overpowered as possible and justify that with but they can't block <laughs> so yeah Ashbite is just amazing. He, all of his attacks are useful, even the Fiery Mist, which is just basically a slowdown. But it's a good slowdown. It's a good slowdown because it doesn't last f two fucking seconds like this, guys. And it actually does some like little damage as well, I think. And all of, you, all of his attacks, ugh, excuse me, are literally just like annihilation. <laughs> another, ugh, another dragon, even better than the first one. <laughs> Boneheart is overpowered. <laughs> Seriously, Boneheart does so much damage. He's honestly just, he should be nerfed. And he can also block because he can summon minions. So yeah, he can also has some blocking capability. And the minions are like pretty tough as well. So uh, yeah, he's, he's just amazing. <laughs> he does so much damage with all of his... Uh, infectious attacks and he he like does gives this infection to the uh, enemies and if they die while they're infected they blow up and deal even more damage to everything around them it's it's crazy it's it's crazy and also we can do a suicide attack which fucks up everything around them yeah that's pretty pretty good next up is uh what's her name broxa or something so yeah, she is actually a good hero. I'm gonna put her in A. Because she, she's a good hero, cause um... She can do get these like skulls. Like whenever she kills an enemy, like she gets like this little skull. Uh, that like helps her uh, in the fight. And uh, she can have like five of them and when they deplete, they like charge into enemies. So yeah, that's really good. She, she's a really effective ranged hero. And you know, so she also... <laughs> She also has this ability that, um, like, she stabs a voodoo doll and that, like, kills, and uh, not kills, but damages all enemies of one type, which is also really good. So, she's going A, not quite as good as these guys, but still, really solid hero. Captain Blackthorn, I freaking love Cap Captain Blackthorn. I don't know what it is about him, I'm literally gonna put him in S, even though he's probably not even that good, uh... But for some reason, I just love playing with him so much. He's he's so simple. He's one of the simplest heroes ever. He he, he literally just has a an attack. Uh, he he literally just like has a ranged attack and a melee attack and a bomb. That's it. And so a stun ability. But yeah, but for some reason he's, he's really good. His his melee attack is good. His ranged attack not so much, but whatever. His his bomb is overpowered. <laughs> not overpowered, but really strong. Uh, his stun ability is very useful, and he also gives extra money when he kills stuff, so... I don't know, I don't know, it's just something about him that I just really like. Next up is Cronin. Now, Cronin is a pretty good hero, like, for being a free. He's actually pretty good, but, um, I don't know. I don't know really what my issue is with him. He is actually pretty good when it comes to, like, tanking, because he has a lot of minions, and he can stun. And also when it comes to damage, he also can... He can also damage quite a bit, like, with his uh, Deep Lash Strike. That's probably, like, the best ability ever. Uh, yeah, he's just... He's overall just a solid hero, I don't know what to say. Like, for damage, he's good. For tanking, is decent. He's he's just really good, and so he's just... He has boars and birds and rhinos that's really cool so go to b oh dante oh my god dante 
Dante is the greatest Kingdom Rush hero ever to exist in the history. I said Oni, but then, man, Dante, jeez. These are two of my favorite heroes, by the way. Dante is so good. He's just so good. Like, like, so, so good. There's honestly just nothing wrong with him. I don't think there's literally anything bad I can say about him. He can, he can do anything. He kills stuff like a mad lad. He has good melee damage. He has good range damage. He has uh, he has epic like crowd control abilities. Uh, actually, one ability, which is like when he fires both of his guns at once. That's that's an amazing ability. He also has awesome single target. Uh, he can also kill single targets really well with his like sniper rifle. And he also has this amazing ability where he like takes away the armor of an enemy. That's honestly one one of the best, unironically, one of the best hero abilities there there is. He can also silence enemies, and you can also like uh, he also buffs buffs soldiers, <laughs> and you can even choose where choose his respawn place when he dies. He's he's the greatest hero ever, mate. Mm, this lady, which what's her name, Deirdre or something? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, she's honestly just like the biggest eh hero in the world, because she's a healer, she's like probably the only healer ever, <laughs> I don't know if there's any other healers, but she's just, I never actually understood the purpose of healers, because bar barracks, like, I don't know, we can get a tanking hero if you want like, tank, you don't need like a healer that just will heal the barracks, the soldiers, it's, I don't know, I just don't really get her, and it may be just, just that I don't really understand how to use her. Of course, she's not, maybe, maybe she's not that bad, but honestly, I don't like her. I'm gonna put her in D, because, yeah, you know. Um, look at this, like, fucking evil furnace, I like this thing, I wanna, I wanna get vengeance and play as this. Um, next, from your hero is Grawl. God damn it, Grawl is is the ultimate tank, for me at least, because he's not like the best at tanking, but he is not only an, a tank, but also an extremely good damager, like, for being a tank, he does extremely good damage, if like, if, maybe if I'm talking nonsense, but this guy is a great tank because he can tank decently and kill even better. Because, yeah, like, his shard punch is epic, his boulder throw is really good, he's like, I don't know what this one just, like, smashes the ground like like crazy, that's good as well. Honestly, he's just an amazing hero, S-tier. The Frontiers really has epic heroes. Um, Karkonos, Karkonos is one of the worst heroes ever made. <laughs> Going from one of the best to one of the worst, F-tier, instantly. Karkonos is extremely bad. He's like, he's not only like slow and just like basically a tank that can do no damage at all. He's also not really that good at tanking because he does virtually no damage. Uh, he has decent health, that's that I will admit. And he has, but he has no like, I don't know how to say it. He's just really useless to me. I don't know. Like his only good ability is the pincer attack. And even then, the pincer attack is, uh, is just one thing, and he does it like once every 10 years. And his his shoulder cannon does literally nothing. Uh, it's, it's, it's useless. And his invincibility, oh my god, his invincibility thing is the fucking worst thing I've ever seen. He, he, he has like a chance to become invincible for 4 seconds if his health is really low. That's freaking... That, that's useless! That's literally just... That's just useless. I... I, I hate this guy. It's, he's, he's so bad. Man. <sighs> Next up is Kaz. Another very meh hero. Because, I mean, his damaging ability is not that bad, I will say. He has a really cool, like, spinny attack, and an even cooler, like, attack when he, like, a really badass attack when he, like, puts his axe up and like smashes it into the enemy, that, that's kind of badass. But other than that, 
he's actually like pretty meh. He's he's really stupid. Uh, cause his ability when he charges is very similar to that of Ignis when he just like when you want him to focus on one enemy and he just goes off to a totally random one and then just freaking you have to move him again and he just dashes away again so that's annoying and then his like teleporting ability is the most useless thing ever made like he teleports one enemy to himself freaking what's the point of that that that's that's just stupid like, I guess it can save you sometimes, but overall, it's really dumb. <laughs> he's just, he's really just a dumb hero overall. I'm gonna put him D. It's, I, I don't like him. Next up is, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's like Kutska or something. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce this. But this guy is really good. Like, when I first saw him, I was like, wow, this guy looks really dumb. But he's really good, actually. <laughs> Um, so, sorry for offending any guy, anyone had, that uses this dude. Because, yeah, I can get if you main this guy, because he's a freaking beast. He can, he has a lot of, um, really good abilities to take out groups and single targets as well. He also has some survivability, because he has really low health, but he has a really good dodge ability that gives him, like, a 60% chance to dodge every attack. Which is freaking, that's like insane. And he even like strikes back after he does it. And he has like two abilities for crowd control. One of them is amazing. Like one who just like whips out the dragon and burns everything around him. Yeah, that's, that's epic. Uh, and then he has this like when he punches everything around. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a good hero. Like he's a really good hero going in S tier. Yeah. Moving on to Mirage, 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 I don't know how to say it, I'm Polish, I don't freaking know how to say all words, uh, so, I don't know, I don't really, I, I just, I, I don't know, <sighs> she's pretty average, I guess, I don't know if you put her in D or C, I guess I'm gonna do it in C, just because she has an insta-kill attack, and, <laughs> You know, insta-kill attacks are amazing, are, are one of the best things a hero can have, so she, that's why she's not in D with all these idiots. And overall, pretty bad hero, not gonna lie. Uh, next up is Gandalf, I mean not Gandalf, this, this guy. Uh, he is pretty, I don't know, he's just freaking, uh, just like her, she, he, like he's, I don't know what to say about him. I, th I think he's like better than her, definitely. But overall, I don't really like using him. Like, his ranged attack is not that good for me. But I really like his, like, the one where he, like, raises up the book and fires out a bunch of stuff. And his disintegration ability. So I'm gonna put him in B for that. But overall, he's a pretty, like... Actually going to C tier, I don't care. Next up we have, um... I trying to give some frontiers. Oh yeah, Monkey Man. Monkey Man is good. I like the Monkey Man. He's not like an amazing, amazing hero, but he's definitely like very good. Uh, I like his uh, ability when he just like, point, like flings his weapon, whatever it is, like a double mace or something. Like he flings it everywhere and like kills the entire crowd or where he like uh, smashes one, keeps like smacking one enemy with it. He's, it's a pretty like really cool. Also has a really cool silencing ability, which I like. The only issue with him is his monkey rage ability. That thing, that, that's just dumb. Because what he does is he makes, uh, is he like, makes all enemies uh, receive, uh, you know, double damage. But the problem with that is that he just like stands there like, ah! <laughs> for like 10 seconds or something, not 10 seconds, where he's like, he's just like, ah, for like, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly, that's like what, how he sounds, uh, so, you know, I don't know, it's just, that's a bit, that ability just like kind of brings him down, but overall, he's a pretty good hero, so I'm gonna put him in A, A for the monkey, uh, Shatra, instant S, not A, instant S, this is one of the best, like, melee heroes I've ever seen. 
other than other than Ani, of course. But he's he's extremely effective at taking down enemies, a, a big or small. He's 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 really good. He has he has like very good base base melee damage, which I like. And also he has this cool like little shuriken thingy that he throws around. You know that's that's also very cool. And then his his drones. Oh my god! When I first saw him like like call his drone, it was it was like almost like oh my god, what the hell? And so he has an insta kill ability, always nice. And he has like a suicide explosion, which is very useful if he gets killed, because yeah, that suicide explosion is is really strong. Kind of like that of Boneheart, but less overpowered. Still, very powerful. Not saying it's not. So, I think that's all of the Frontier heroes. Let me just look around. Yeah, these all are... Uh, these are all from Origins and... Uh, what's the... And Vengeance, yeah. So, moving on to the Origins heroes. Alright, let's get with the Origins heroes now. So, first up is Arivan, or whatever his name is. So, this guy is actually really cool. So, I mean, he's, um, he relies really heavily on his abilities. Like, without using his abilities, he's basically, like, ass. But his abilities are good. Like, his fireball attack, his lightning attack. Yeah, they're, they're, they're all really good. His ice attack is also pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, his abilities are really good overall, like, he's a very overall, like, good ranged hero for single targets, as well as groups. Like, his fireball attack is the best attack ever, because it not only can not only take out groups, but also single targets. Does, it does really well against single targets as well. So we're just gonna put him in the uh, A tier. Yeah, let's do that. Mm, next up is Bravebark. Bravebark is trash. I hate Bravebark. Bravebark is one of the worst heroes I have ever played with. He's so fucking useless. His his teleporting ability, you know, like, uh, like you know, kind of like Magnus has one when he like teleports to a place instead of walking. Same for this guy, but his teleporting ability is trash because it takes him like five seconds to get out of it get out of it i'm exaggerating of course but still it takes him way longer to do it than it takes these guys like this guy just like zooms and this guy also like zooms <laughs> yeah and they're, they're just in the place uh okay that's not it that's not it of course uh also his his minions are pretty good i will give him that but then his other abilities are just are are stupid his other abilities are just dumb like when he like heals in place that's just stupid, like, who needs that? <laughs> also, he does the least damage out of anything in the entire game. And his insta-kill ability is bad because it's just, like, really... It, it, he can only, like, do it to, like, very weak enemies, which is... Which just ruins the purpose of an insta-kill ability, to be honest. And his ultimate... Oh yeah, Forgot Heroes had ultimates in, in Origins. His ultimate is trash. It literally does zero damage. Like, zero damage. Like, that's something about that. But yeah, that's why it's in the F tier. <laughs> I hate Brave Bark, dude. I don't know, you might like him. I fully respect when you when you like heroes that I don't. And I expect you to respect it when I like heroes that you don't. And I don't like heroes that you do. Next up is Bruce. Bruce is good. Bruce is really good, actually. He has good melee damage, and that's basically it. He has a stun ability, but all that he like, um, I'd like say about him is he has good melee damage, and that's enough for oh, fuck you. And that's enough for him to go in B. <laughs> I don't know. He just like has really cool like melee capabilities and an 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 awesome ultimate. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. He has an Epic fucking ultimate. Uh, Kava. Uh, I don't know what to say about Kava. She kind of reminds me of Magnus in, in the sense that she summons like clones of herself. But I don't think she's as good as Magnus for some reason. I don't know. She just kind of doesn't appeal to me that much. 
I don't know. I'm gonna put her one below Magnus. I don't know. There's just something about her. Like, there's something about those heroes that I just don't like. I don't know why. Like, every hero has this thing that I just don't like about them. And I can't really explain it. Uh, and, I mean, she's a decent hero. But, I don't know. I, I just don't like playing with her. Maybe it's because she has a trashy ultimate. I mean, it's not trash, but I just don't like using it. Uh, next up is Durax. Holy crap. Durax is a beast and a half. He can make a copy of himself, like, not like Magnus or Kaffa, that the copies are, like, way weaker than the actual one. He can just create a flat-out copy of himself. So we basically have two heroes that can do the exact same thing. Mm, he also has an epic, like, spear throw attack. He also has, like, kind of, like, a uh, Grawl shard, shard Punch, when he like turns his hand into a sword and like slices the enemy. That is fucking badass. Uh, one thing I don't like is his ultimate, because it's, it's it's basically Braveberg's ultimate. <laughs> Literally. But overall, like, some, I, just, I just don't even use his ultimate, just because of how good he is himself. I forget that he has an ultimate. <laughs> Uh, he just play with Durax. He's he's a versatile. He's versatile as hell. He can block, and he can also like kill even better. Uh, next up, Eridan. This is the best free hero, hands down. As the best free hero of all of them, like hands down, no arguments. He is the greatest uh, free hero ever made. He has. Amazing damage. He's like Aluria Swift Wind, but like way better. He fires out these arrows. He has like an arrow volley attack. He does bonus damage if he fires at one enemy for uh, a long period of time. He also has um, he also has really good melee damage, which is which is really rare. That's why that's why he has a, such a unique hero because uh, ranged heroes are basically like they are really good at range, but they suck ass when it comes to, uh, you know, melee fighting. He, he doesn't. He has epic uh, both ranged capability and melee as well. He's he's just an, such a good hero. If you don't, if you can't get any premium heroes, don't worry, Eridan's a beast and he will get the job done. Okay, next up, Faustus. He's a dragon, S tier. Literally. Just S tier because it's a dragon. This is amazing damage. Uh, cool abilities like Liquid Fire. I think his liquid, liquid Fire is a very cool ability. And his ultimate, which like summons in these little dragons that also use Liquid Fire, which is very cool. And yeah, I just I don't know. I don't know. Just like something about it's something about the dragons that just makes them so overpowered. Maybe it's the fact that they can't block. I mean, I said it already. Dragons can't block, so they get overpowered damage instead. Mm, Lilith. Lilith is pretty bad. Not gonna lie. I don't really like Lilith because she is the biggest freaking... Uh, she's the most RNG-based hero ever made. She has, like, uh, an ultimate that can uh, either summon these little little like angels or demons or whatever they are that do like pretty bad damage and then there's these there and then she can also make a rain of fire that does a lot of damage so it's basically just rng also she has an insta kill ability that has like a like chance and also she has like resurrection ability also by chance overall she's just a freaking she's a pretty RNG based hero and overall not that good. Her ranged attack is literally useless. And uh, I don't know. She's a very trashy hero, but not like completely trash because she does have an insta kill attack after all. And if her ultimate goes right, it's. It's, you know. It's. It goes right. Nothing else to say there. Uh, Lin. Lin is bad. I'm gonna put her in D just because she's a she's a bad hero just because um I mean her her sword attack does a lot of damage. I will say that much. Uh actually I'll move her up to C. 
Just because I remembered her sword attack and just how overpowered it is compared to anything else she has. So yeah, her sword attack, very, very strong. Her other abilities, trash, like useless. Slowdown ability, reduced armor ability, dodge chance ability. They're, they're like alright, but not better. I don't know. They're. I, I don't know. They're pretty, pretty bad. I mean, they have a cooldown. So she's, she, she doesn't have like a do constant dodge like Kutsa does. She can, she just, she needs a cooldown and then she, like, there's a cooldown and then she gives like this effect to an enemy and then there's like a 40% dodge chance while fighting that enemy. And it lasts like two seconds, so. Not that good. Also, okay, her, her ultimate is pretty good, but uh, whatever. Average hero. Uh, next up, Phoenix. S tier. Because, you know, I mean, kind of still counts as a dragon. I mean, yeah, so S tier, obviously. Uh, epic damage, epic freaking uh, abilities. Trashy ultimate, like really, really trashy ultimate. But extremely fast uh, respawn time and also an explosion while dying and also respawning. That's, that's epic. Moving on, Prince Danus. Prince Danus is probably one of the best tankers ever made. He 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 has epic health. He has um an ability that heals him. He can summon like minions and he can also stun enemies, which is yeah. It's really good. Also he has a, a bunch of offensive capabilities like when he smashes with his like freaking flail, that's pretty strong. And also he has abil an ability um, where he like throws his shield, just like Captain America. That's, that's also really good. So he's going in the A tier, like right next to his um, older version. Yeah, he's 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 really useful. Uh, Raz and Rags. Okay, this hero is kind of weird, I will say, because I don't really like the ability. Uh, the idea of turning enemies into temporary minions because it's temporary it's, it's just temporary if like they it turns enemies into minions for like 10 seconds and then they become enemies again it's it's not that it's not that good so his ultimate is literally that but works for like five enemies or something and I don't know I like his hammer attack and his bunny attack. But other than that, he's not really a great hero. I mean, nah. I don't think he's, he's very good. Okay, our f I said the SSSSSSSS tier is reserved for free heroes. There we go. Not, nothing else to say here. Rexon is the greatest hero ever in, in Origins. All of, all of these are the greatest hero ever. He's the greatest hero ever, he's the greatest hero ever, and he's the greatest hero ever as well. Why is Rexon so good? I don't know, maybe it's because he's literally only, but for Origins. He has two swords that he like slices everything up with. He has an area attack, he has a, like a single... Like, I guess you can call his like, when he like, I don't know what that ability is called, when he like, lights his swords on fire. Like, that's kind of like the death strike because it does have an insta kill chance uh, and then can also kill like groups of enemies really quickly because when he like lights them up on fire he can kill weak enemies in like one hit so he's just like vroom, 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 and, he, and then like 20 enemies are gone <laughs> okay then uh yeah that that's that's it also he's he has really good survivability because whenever something dies close to him he gets healed so he's it's pretty hard to kill him you know and that's why i love using him he's just a beast i just I love these heroes which can like kill everything you know that's just, that's just my playstyle vesnan is next one of the best ranged heroes as well uh i don't know why i said as well <laughs> rexon is not a ranged hero but yeah he's a very good very good ranged hero he has very good um damage and he has all and like awesome abilities like the i like the one he like holds enemies in place 
and his explosion ability, obviously, and has an insta kill ability, which is even better. I mean, about his insta kill ability is that just I never get the timing on it right. He always like spends 17 years killing a big enemy, and then he like uses his insta kill on like a freaking goblin or something. Not a goblin, but you know what's it called? The the the, the default enemy in Origins. You know, you know which one. So he's going in A. Yes, because he has really good, like, he's really strong, but he's also very fragile. And I don't like these very fragile heroes that much. I mean, I respect them, as they do kick ass if you if you use them right. But I just don't like it when I have to keep moving my hero back for to use the ranged abilities. I just want to get him in the fight and watch him kill stuff, just like these three. Uh, Wilbur. Wilbur is an absolute goddamn failure. I don't know what, is, what it is with these dwarf heroes, but they are trash of the highest potential. Like, highest potential? Is that how you say? That's not how you say it, is it? You say trash of the highest order, I think. I don't know, okay. Uh, the, but the point is, he sucks. <laughs> point is, he's just trash. He, literally, his only useful ability is the rockets. He fires two of them, and they, they do really good damage. That's his only good ability. Uh, his slowdown ability is a slowdown ability, which means it sucks. His bombs do, like, zero damage. His um, ultimate is the worst ultimate ever made. Probably even worse than Bravebark's ultimate. And, yeah. <laughs> he sucks. And the last hero also sucks. I hate this guy. This guy does no damage, this guy, uh, okay, he's actually better than these guys, okay, yeah, he's better than these four fuckers, but he's also bad, he, had, he does like zero damage, unless he uses one of his abilities, which is like the one where he like jumps in the air and like uh, does area damage, yeah, that's one, that's a thing that like redeems him kind of, because that is a really good like area, area damage ability, but overall, he's not really good. And, yeah, his ultimate is pretty good, but it's an ultimate, I mean, you can't just judge a hero based on their ultimate, because an ultimate takes like 7 years to charge up. Uh, anything else I can say about him is, oh yeah, he can also double the damage of soldiers. Soldiers, not towers, just soldiers. Soldiers don't even do that much damage anyway, so, who cares? But yeah, that's gonna be it for this tier list. We still have a bunch of Vengeance heroes. I haven't played Vengeance, but I I can I, I can tell right now that this thing, this furnace, looks very epic. Uh, if it's the worst hero ever, I'll be very disappointed. So uh, please don't give me Vengeance spoilers. I will literally kill myself if you give me any Vengeance spoilers. I don't want to have anything to do with that game until I play it myself. Alright? Uh, yeah, but thanks so for watching, feel free to disagree, but don't be a toxic two-year-old going on a rampage in the comment section. This is all just my personal opinion, my experience, I played this game, these games a lot, and I decided, you know, maybe I could give my opinion on the heroes. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, we'll probably gonna live stream something Geometry dash is the clue. Uh, but yeah. Uh, uh, see you then. Bye!